Hi Robin here. This tips for anybody who's struggling moving their middle of their body correctly during the swing, rotating their hips in the backswing or rotating their hips with a little bit of speed in the downswing. Now when players are struggling to move their middle of their body, as I say, either in the backswing or downswing, clearly what they do is they focus in on this area. Um, but often the problem can start further down. The problem can start in the way the player is moving their feet. Let's call it their footwork. The correct footwork is very important to be able to move your lower half correctly and then in turn your upper half and the way your arms are moving and the way the club's swinging around your body. So incorrect footwork can really set off a bad chain reaction all the way uh, through your body and into the way your arms and your club are moving. On the opposite side of that, the correct, the correct footwork can really lead to many good things. You'll start to see your, as I say, what we're talking about today, you'll start to see the middle of the body working more correctly, both in the backswing and the downswing, which will have many benefits, probably too many to explain right now, but many other benefits in the swing. So if you've had a lesson, you're struggling to move the middle of your body correctly, struggling to move your hips correctly, then I want you to consider, are you using your feet correctly? So a very simple exercise I want you to do, just to try to get some sense, I'll turn the, the slight diagonal so you can see this, just try to get a sense of your feet moving, the correct footwork, is in the backswing, just small movements, I want you to feel the pressure going into your right heel and your left toe. Now what you can actually do in starting this off is you can lift your right toe off the ground a little bit, you can lift your left heel off the ground a little bit. That's a slight exaggeration of the correct footwork, but it start, gives you a sense of how you should be using the ground to move your body. So that's the backswing. Downswing is just the opposite. We go right toe, left heel. Now you can see in doing that, my knees start to move, the middle of my body starts to move. It'll start to free up that rotation in the middle of your body. Do it with a little bit of motion, a little oil. Right heel, left toe, right toe, left heel. So just small movements. Getting a sense of how you're using the ground, how you're moving your feet. Big misconception is not to try to move your feet in the swing. Your feet are constantly moving. The pressure has to be moving around in your feet all the time for you, for you to be able to move your body correctly during the swing. So once you've got that sensation you can build that up into a bigger pivot. Now, this is a, I'm talking about the pure rotational component here. Of course, there's a little bit of a lateral component, which I'm sort of in this, um, in this tip, in this video, I'm not really focusing on, on that component. I'm focusing on the single component of trying to get a better rotation. But obviously there's a little bit of a lateral component there if you wanted to add that in. But get that sense, build it up, and then simply try to try to feel the same footwork when you're making your swing. That's sure to free up your lower body, get your pelvis rotating correctly in the backswing, allow you to rotate your pelvis with a little bit of speed coming down. As I said, the correct footwork, the correct use of the middle of your body has got many benefits. So if you're somebody who's had a lesson in this area, you're struggling to move your middle of your body correctly, consider your footwork, give that drill a try. I hope it helps. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.